Historians have long argued that American presidents who are lucky enough to get reelected are often susceptible to what's called the second term curse. Nixon had Watergate, Reagan, Iran-Contra, Clinton, Monica. And already, days into his new term, Barack Obama has his first scandal, Beyonce. Inaugurations are supposed to be a showcase of American democracy, a primer for the world on the peaceful passage of power. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. But what's everybody talking about after President Obama's big day? Beyonce. She's still not saying whether she lip synced the national anthem. But what we do know for sure is that there are others who absolutely should have. Here now are scientifically compiled via Google search, top six worst ever national anthem renditions. Number six, Steven Tyler. Can you see? The lead singer of Aerosmith delivered what many viewed to be a soul-deadeningly bad performance at last year's NFL AFC Championship game. Number five, Carl Lewis. Through the perilous fight. This one's a classic. In 1993, the Olympic star got booed in the middle of his rendition. And the Rockets, red, red. Uh oh. Number four, Anita Baker. The R&B legend simply could not hit the high notes at the 2010 NBA Finals. Number three, Michael Bolton. Clearly haunted by the curse of the Bambino at Boston's Fenway Park in 2003. We've got a two-way tie for second, a dubious honor shared by Cindy Lauper and Christina Aguilera. Both of whom forgot the word. But number one, now and forever, must go to Roseanne Barr. For her ear-bleedingly, crotch-grabbingly bad performance at this 1990 San Diego Padres game. It even drew the condemnation of yet another president. My reaction is it was disgraceful. Here's what she later said about it to ABC's David Wright in a Nightline interview. It was horrifying. I knew I had started too high about the fifth note in. And I thought, well, at least I'll try to make it funny. So why is the song so hard? Voice coaches say it's because it has a huge vocal range. The tune itself was actually taken from an English drinking song, which is why experts say people run into trouble when they try to sing it solo and or sober.